again, Tesla guy here. And I did a little work on my center console cup holder situation, which has really two giant cup holders there. These from Tesla that are adjustable to and fro with little slots they fit into, as you probably know, if you're watching this video, you care. Uh, one thing I did is I put carbon fiber on the top of these so that you don't really see the silver and it goes a little better with the interior. And the main reason I did that was because through a process of research and investigation, I found these um, little uh, 3D printed double cup holders. Let's take a look at these cup holder inserts. This is the standard cup holder insert from Tesla that goes in the center console. But I have covered it with um, some of this material, uh, which is just a self-adhesive vinyl. There's a lot of these available. I've got this one on eBay. I'll leave a link to the one I got. Um, anyway, um, I use a little trick using a medical scalpel, um, which I'll show you in a second. And now here, get these out of the way, are the ones that I ordered 3D printed versions of, which are double cup holders that fit in the same space and you can kind of see, I'll sh sh kind of show you that they're the same. They're, the, they're exactly the same uh, length and fit into the grooves. Um, so they had pretty much of a rough edge on them, kind of similar to what's on the bottom here, not very pretty. Um, so that's why I started doing these first. Um, and all I did was I, I, I stuck it on here and then I turned them upside down on a workbench and I just scrolled around. Um, I did use a trick where I was concerned, especially when I was doing these guys, I didn't really wanna just you know, mess up the, the silver finish that, that's on there by scraping it as I went around. These I wasn't as concerned about. So I used as I said, a medical scalpel. And what I did was I took some um, white electrical tape, but you could use black. And let's see if you can see how closely it. And I wrapped it around the blade just, if you can see this, let me get out of the, just left a little bit of the blade exposed right there. And that way, as I went around, it didn't cut on the edge, so it covered up the, you know, the side, but it was just at the bottom. So that's my methodology. Um, and here these are, and we'll take a look at them installed in the car and the various options of using them. Here it is. Those are the two smaller cup holders, and there is the original cup holder, which I did cover with the uh, carbon fiber. Okay, so here is the standard little insert that goes in to a Model S or Model X uh, center console for as a cup holder. I've just put some um, uh, film over this. This is uh, carbon fiber that you know somewhat matches what I have here. As you can see. Um, so I've been playing around with the different configurations. I actually did two sets of these, but and which I could put them both in uh, together like they normally would be. Um, but here is what how I've modified this. Um, so I have gotten some 3D printed double cup holders here, and I also put the same film on there. Now they don't fit in this position because there's like a little, you see that little groove around there? So they don't fit there, they'd stick up. So you really have to have one of these there. You could fit them and have them move more towards the back because there's extra uh, insert uh, slots. So I'm gonna show you a couple of different ways that I've done this. One, it's a little tricky to do one-handed with the That's one way is to drop it right next to it. Um, and then take the second one, could go, pardon my finger there, could go right tight. And that's one way. And there's still another 
room to uh, a little one more groove down here to go further in. along. Now this is um, from Kettleman City. This is a a good size uh, coffee mug, and it it really needs this big one. Not quite that much, but it never will fit in these like this. You see, um, it does fit in here uh, pretty well. Um, and so I could get basically if I leave this setup, I could get three of those, and I could get two thin cans. It won't take. 12 ounce cans because there's just not enough width between here and here no matter what you do for them to fit side by side they jam together but um, here's one other trick um, and I can fit I, I drink espresso and stuff like that so I, there's an espresso mug fits fine alongside that so those are a lot of options that way but if I take this 3D printer cup holder and move it back one Now it's it's wider. Now the disadvantage of that is um, if you put things like uh, these thinner cans, there's nothing to, too much to keep them from almost tipping over, but they'll survive. But it's, it's a little too wide. But what I can do now is take this large cup and it will fit in there somewhat enough that you're not going to spill it. Pretty good. So I have room for an extra spot. And that often is really the problem is well, what do you do? Um, and there's other things I could probably fit with that. So let's switch these around so you can see a little better here. So what, what we've got, how much room is left. See, and that's the same problem with the cans. It, it, it basically cuts across the middle and away you go. But I could get that and I could get this in. Well, maybe not. Okay, so that's a bad example. But pretty much my standard setup is like that. And, um, and then I can have whatever I want in the other one, obviously. Um, and one nice advantage for me, what I often do, is I have a couple of these things. This is a smaller Stanley uh, coffee deal. I do like this feature, being able to close it with all the drinks in there. So um, that's pretty much the setup that I am going to go with. Um, so I really only need this setup kind of wide I think uh, maybe not even wide uh, some of the time and um, then I can just keep the extra set of the standard ones and just tuck them back there if I ever want to just have two really big things but at this point um, I have the capability of uh, having an extra cup holder which is worthwhile so um, that's the whole setup